Well, just days after a bankruptcy judge approved the liquidation and closure of the Honolulu Symphony, its musicians were back in the orchestra pit tonight. They played at a dress rehearsal for Ballet Hawaii's performances of The Nutcracker. KITV Force Keoki Kerr has learned there is an effort underway to restart the failed symphony organization. Keoki? Well, Paula, sources tell KITV 4 News a group of business people is meeting this week to discuss plans to try to start a new symphony organization in Honolulu. And tonight, for the first time since the opera season ended in early March, the full orchestra returned to the Blaisdell Concert Hall and they were getting paid after a year of no concerts and no salaries. As the curtain went up on Ballet Hawaii's dress rehearsal tonight, there were 62 professional musicians in the orchestra pit. When that curtain opens, that is such a thrill for the dancers to be on stage with a live orchestra. And I know it's a thrill for the audience as well, too. It's just nothing that is like it. These former Honolulu Symphony musicians have endured the last year with no symphony season and no income as the symphony filed for bankruptcy and canceled all its concerts. Tim Leong has played violin in the orchestra for 29 years. It, it's like a homecoming. It's like a rejuvenation. It's, it's, it's like a reward almost for all of the, what we've gone through. And I think, uh, I hope the community enjoys it because we're really going to try to put out the best we can. They're being paid about $500 each for their work with Ballet Hawaii this week, half their normal pay of roughly $1,000 a week for a 29-week season. A handful of musicians have moved to the mainland to find work, but most have remained here. I credit the ones who have stayed uh, with their dedication to this um, community. It's absolutely unbelievable uh, to have survived on what we previously made was a miracle enough. Uh, how they did it without it is, is unbelievable. Jonathan Parrish is a French horn player who's been with the orchestra for nearly 13 years. It's exciting for the whole orchestra to be able to play together and uh, to hear the sound of a full orchestra. Um, you know, the Nutcracker score is such a great score, it's such great music. Parrish is hopeful that new leadership will emerge to restart a professional orchestra and these musicians will be able to keep the music playing. The talent we have in, in the Honolulu Symphony has taken decades to accumulate and you can't replace that overnight. Uh, so that's the other asset and really we still have that. We still have the orchestra and that's proven right here tonight. Ballet Hawaii points out it is the only version of the Nutcracker in Hawaii this season with a full orchestra playing along with the dancers. The others rely on recordings. The performances are tomorrow and Saturday night and Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Tickets range from $35 to $75, and they're available through Ticketmaster. Paula. All right, Kyoki, thank you, and hopefully they will resurrect the symphony.